President Trump delivered his plans for a 2019 budget to Capitol Hill today. He's moving ahead with a $1.5 trillion infrastructure plan funded mostly by states and local communities. CBS's Mola Lange has the details. Boxes of the president's proposed 2019 budget arrived on Capitol Hill and were unveiled for the press early this morning. The $4 trillion budget proposal isn't expected to go far because it projects a $1 trillion deficit. Conservatives on Capitol Hill aren't likely to vote for that, especially after last week's 2018 budget deal added to the deficit. When you look at $300 billion over a 10-year period, you know, it, it makes uh, even a drunken sailor blush. The budget includes $17 billion to fight the opioid epidemic and $23 billion for border security, most of which will go for the border wall. The president's own own budget director admitted on Face the Nation conservatives may not like it. Congressman Mick Mulvaney, would he have voted for this? Oh, probably not, but keep in mind, I'm not Congressman Mick Mulvaney anymore. The president is moving ahead today with plans for another major electoral issue, fixing America's roads and bridges. The president is calling for $200 billion in federal spending as part of a $1.5 trillion plan, but most of that is coming from state and local governments and private investments. Mola Lange, CBS News. The White House. The White House has cutting regulatory barriers and making it easier to get permits will spur private investors to spend money on public infrastructure projects.